Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting propaganda cast from the host, Imperial Dane, featuring M.W. Dave Tank, fighting for the 1st Infantry Division, going up against him, shall be Blondie R. Yusuf, fighting for the 2nd Panzer Division. At least I'm hoping it pronouncing it right, although I could easily find out that no, it's actually pronounced Ralph. So... Doesn't matter, Blondie or Yusuf, and we shall just call Blondie because that's going to be a considerably lot easier. Finding for the Panzer Elites, finding for the second Panzer Division, a quick Kampfgruppe mustered up. Engineers, engineers moving up, and we are seeing very aggressive play with the three engineers start from Dave Tank, intending to take as much territory away. Also, could be part of the aim strong counter Panzer Elite strategy, which does involve having three engineers out early on, then getting full rifle, then getting sticky bombs, and then flamethrowers and blobbing up. We'll of course, see if he actually pulls it off as well, if he does, but no, we're actually seeing a jeep first out, so already here, definitely not the aim strong strategy. And Blondie's Panzer gun is with his Gewehr 43 in hand, are moving westwards. Both players, in fact, rushing for fuel. Though interestingly enough, he's not dealing with the one right next to his base. So that one's a bit odd there for Dave. Getting crowds moving about. No doctrine as yet. Panzercon is getting very aggressive. Nice move there, not bothering with having them taking points, but get basically just making life miserable for the Yankees. Points being taken there. Panzercon is moving right. A bit of quiet. Looks like we're probably seeing a and a second Ken card is out. The Jeep going straight for the first one. Playing a bit aggressively there. Doing damage. Forcing the Ken card away. We are seeing Panzergun moving up to transport, getting into the house. In fact, that might not save the Ken crab, but we are seeing another Panzer gun in squad intercepting the Jeep though continues on undeterred but pulls away from the base. As of course there are flat feeling slights there. Black feeling. Third squad of Panzer Gunners coming out for Blondie. While Dave pushes on. Soon with an actual rifleman squad to do some work. And there we go, we are now seeing Blondie actually focusing all of his Panzer Gunners into a quite nasty combat force. Jeep quickly getting repaired. But already the Panzer Gunners are attacking. This is not going to end well for the Jeep or the engineers. Riflemen are moving up, but will it be enough to hold back this force? Engineers quickly occupy the building. Well, rather than that, I'm moving forwards. A bit of minor movement in the west. We're probably seeing additional riflemen soon out for Dave Tank, who is level 14 with the Americans, but actually level 16 with the Germans. Jeep moving forwards, and there we go. Jeep coming under heavy fire from the Panzer Grenadiers. Jeep getting repaired. Jeep getting repaired. But again, it's going to be under fire, and if there we go, the engineers are quickly getting focused down. Engineers are easier to hit and kill while under fire, so nice done targeting there by Blondie. Taking a point. Not entirely sure that's the greatest idea. Of course, he might just be taking the point while he's hoping for the Panzers to get close enough to the house for the right side to do some good. Fourth squad arriving, Blondie going for a very heavy Panzer Grenadier approach. And there we go. Caught a bit out in the open, but he does have a lot of firepower. But will the rifleman be able to do some damage? There we go. First rifleman down. First rifleman down. Another squad moving up. Panzer Grenadiers coming in a bit of fire. One squad almost down to half health. And the Jeep adding in a bit as well with its 30 caliber browning light. And there we go. Rifleman could flank up. Flank up here and do some damage from that angle. That would be nice. That would be nice. Rifleman still holding up. And we are seeing dip. Blondie actually losing mud on the right and dies. And Guinness moving about. Kettenkart going in for some harassment. And there we go. One Panzer gun is caught on the run. Holding out quite nicely in the house there. Houses do provide a lot of, you know, protection in forms of being harder to hit. But also damage reduction. But there we go. Might be time to considering vacating the premises down to two men. Jeep actually charges in. Pan Rifeman attacking cross on ground. But they do get suppressed. Quickly turning the assault into a mess. Jeep actually scores a kill, gaining veterans who won. The Jeep, though, might want to get out of there before it gets finished off. So quite a bit of casualties right there. And count 
done to Blondie as he was trying to take that house. In fact, two squads were forced away. So nice holding action right there by Dave Tang. Again, you know, taking a house at the right point can absolutely make things very difficult for your opponent. Do not underestimate that. And definitely was perhaps not the best way to sort of stand out in that way. But so there you go. He did, in the end, take the house and do some damage to Dave Tank. And now the engineers are coming under fire. Flame for upgraded for the engineers. Now the engineers will the retreat. Dave Tank needs to push forwards, though. The Gabriel Kirk Kenkart are pushing up in center. Going very aggressively, in fact, actually trying to take enemy points with the Panzer Gun is perhaps not what they're most suited for. Jeep taking nasty, nasty damage from some Panzer Gunners. Should be very cautious, in fact. Rifle moving up, they're getting slowed down. Another force that continues up the right hand side. And there we go, the, the Jeep was able to disrupt the Panzer Gunners, and there we go, they are forced away. Leaving this right force here much, much more exposed. And there we go, they do attack, but the Panzer has managed to render it all neutral at the same time. Going for the cutoff point could deny Blondie the fuel point right there. And I imagine that is what he would want to do. And we are seeing another rifle squad on the way for Dave Tank. While Panzer Grenadiers are charging up. At the same time, we do see Panzer Air Command going up for Blondie. And the Panzer gun is coming under fire from the Jeep. Sector being captured. And you need to move westwards. Point fire. Fire. There we go, flame first moving in, and there we go. Pushed away. Pushed away. And you're doing a bit of work on their own. There's absolutely nothing to cover the West Flank. But at the same time, very nice move there by Blondie. Going for the cutoff point. Going to render all of this unconnected. That would be absolutely a huge blow to Dave Tank's resources. Very nice maneuver there with the Ken Crowd. Absolutely nice. Again, what you want to do, you always want to arrest, sneak in and cause some harm. And he is definitely causing quite some harm to. Dave Tank right there, in fact, now Dave Tank all of a sudden is getting a lot less resources. Jeep doing what he can to disrupt the Panzer Grenadier formations, the rifle holding out on cover. And then we go one squad pushed away. Panzer Air Command though is flashing out. We might be seeing an armored car soon coming in. Panzer is moving in. Jeep though needs to be careful down to half health, down to half health. Ked and Crowd could try and move on instead of just standing there and looking silly. And there we go, the armoured car is ready. And it's quickly pushing forwards. Heavy loss is being inflicted. This is going to end up very quickly as a retreat. And the Jeep could go down, the Jeep could go down. And there we go, overcharging the engines. Blondie has his target in sight. And there we go, the Veterans 1 Jeep is lost. Fuel point is being taken by the enemy. No survivors. And now finally we do see Dave Tank reacting to this rather aggressive harassment. Of course, Blondie is rushing to keep that disconnected to do some resource damage. There we go, the armored car is first on the scene thanks to its overcharged engine doing nicely. Victory point down there taken. Panzer Gunner is going to move up to help hold the point. At the same time, Panzer Support Command going up. Trier Sender going up for Dave Tank. Engineers in trouble. But still also nice harassment from Dave Tank going on. We're losing a munition and there we go. Trier Sender going to help troops a bit on the longer run. Against the evil forces of the second Panzer Divisions Kampfgruppe. And there was a sort of usual thing how the German Panzer Division was formed into sort of several Kampfgruppen. Usually the one formed of the Panzer Grenadiers and Half Tracks. They usually got the tanks. 
And then there was another one which was usually composed of the more one truck born with more assault guns and artillery to sort of provide support. So sort of rather different ways of handling it and of course splitting up so there were different advantages and different goals to achieve. But we are now seeing also assault rifles being equipped for some of the Panzer Grenadiers, the mighty Sturmgewehr. Supply lines are broken. We have territory cut off from supply. Points getting taken. And there we go, engineers and rifle moving up, but coming quickly under fire. In fact, offensive veterans in the armored car, increasing accuracy and rate of fire, all those things, making it much more lethal. And so a lot of players actually do prefer going defensive veterans so to make it tougher, but I'm not going to say that getting offensive veterans is a bad idea. Of course, rather means that you can't just rush it in as quickly, but of course, at the same time, you are more likely to kill something with it and just really kill stuff. Dave Tank getting caught out in the open again by the armoured car. At the same time, supply yard up. And there might be something more on the way. And there we go. Tank Depot. That's only more common now to be seen against the Panzer Elite. With the tank destroyers being used. In fact, the Armstrong strategy involves that. Involves the Trier Center, which probably should have done earlier. Sticky bombs sort of keep things going initially. And then just lots of tank destroyers to sort of deal with all the Panzer Elite vehicles. We do see the anti-tank half take out, and it's going to have a bit of a harder time dealing with a tank destroyer, in fact. So, again, could be an advantage for Dave Tank. In fact, it's time to have a look at Blondie. My apologies, my pardons. And a few riflemen coming under fire there. Riflemen coming under fire. Hey, holding up behind a cart, but the cart, though, is quickly disintegrating under heavy fire from the Panzer Grenadiers, who are pushing up against one more isolated rifle squad. And there we go. Three rifle squads quickly pushed away, only leaving one behind to sort of hold up the center as the Panzer Grenadiers, now supported with the armored car, going to push in there. Nice job. Nice job. And there we go. Tank depth up. Jaeger Command upgraded for Blondie. Perhaps he is expecting something a bit more armoured and might want a Marder out first. Engineers with flamethrowers coming under fire. There we go, slow down and the armoured car adds the very nasty cherry on top. Troops reinforcing. He's probably waiting for that tank depot to deliver him what he wants. Very much so. Also, a quick note, I shall be streaming some games from the Eastern Front Finals tor Tournament Finals here tonight at around 19 or 7 Central European time. So there might be some fun to be had there. And hopefully I won't mess things up too badly. But Tank Depot's lighting up. We are seeing the push going up the centre. Panzer Grenadiers coming under fire. Going for that point. And we are seeing Scorched Earth up for Blondie. Scorched Earth has only seen a revival with the Panzer Elite. Lots of boob traps going down. Can be quite nasty. Of course, Sector Artillery and the Hummel. Panzer Grenadiers coming under fire. There we go, pushing up with the Assault Rifles against the cover in heavy cover. Rav could actually hold up. Assault Rifles getting close range and they actually retreat. Interesting, interesting. They might actually be able to hold up and do some damage instead. We do see a full retreat right there from Dave Tank to other force units over there. And what is this? Hellcat on the far right, knocking out the Ken Crowd. Could perhaps try and push in there. In fact, would probably do so successfully, but Dave Tank seems to be awfully cautious. And there we go, the Marder 3 is on the way for Blondie. And a Panzerschreck upgrade on the way as well for Blondie. And the second Panzer Division, one of the oldest Panzer Divisions. Dodging the booby trap right there. Basically, there are two types of booby traps there are Kenkrad booby traps, and there are Panzer Grenadier booby traps. Kenkrad booby traps are, of course, easy to set up and much earlier available, but they're not very swift or damaging. Panzer Grenadier booby traps, on the other hand, much quicker to react and they're much more likely to actually kill something and ki kill something very nastily. So, of course, things to remember. And there we go. The Marder 3 is ready based on the 
Czechoslovakian Panzer 38. T, or, well the T was also Czechoslovakian, but basically that's how the Germans designated it. I don't actually speak Czechoslovakian, so the other system is a bit more hard for me to sort of say. But it's certainly solo. It uses a lot of conversions. I mean, again, we, in the game we also have the Hetzer based on the same thing, in fact. There was also an anti-aircraft tank based on the Gepard. And there was a bit of self-propelled artillery, the Griller. In fact, there are two versions of that one. And a lot of other fun things, in fact. Right here, they actually take a beating. And there was also, at very end of the war, there was actually a prototype armor personnel carrier also based on the Panzer 38T. There was even a reconnaissance tank. Armor car charging forwards right at the Hellcat. It's oh, it's going for the sniper! It's going for the sniper! Oh, wait, he's got a sniper! Weapon support sent up. But, oh, he's not targeting out the sniper. And now we see him coming under heavy fire. Damage engine very quickly. And lost. So, a nice move. And we see that the Hellcat has been disabled. But at the same time, the tank destroyer is heavily damaged. And it misses. Firing both at the same time. They knock out each other. Talk about mutually assured destruction. And there we go, pushing up in a full frontal wave, but against assault rifles, but there we go. And nonetheless, they do manage to win this game of chicken, forcing away Blondie's troops. At the same time, Ken Kenkart moving up the left-hand side. Containing up the center. We might be seeing some tempted Panther battle groups. And Dave Tank, I think, should try and get some more tank destroyers. They're in the perimeter. Could really do some damage to Blondie. The Yankees are grabbing and Booba Trap going off. Ken Crowd as well. There we go, retreat. Mines going down. Ken Crowd pushed over there. Trying to go for the cutoff point. Very nice attempt there by Dave Tank, but sadly not enough. But still, nice mining, though. Should be careful. He does not get spotted too close. Oh dear, oh dear, Dave Tank. You rather ruined the surprise now, didn't you? But oh dear, he's actually continuing straight into it, suffering heavy losses, losing several pounds of ideas. Blimey. Talk about being nice. Oh, I didn't see you laying down those mines, Dave Tank. In fact, just to spare your feelings, I'll walk my men into your mines. Probably not, but one would almost think it. Boob Trap going off again. Interestingly enough, for one that's gone scorched earth, he's not actually laying down any Boob Trap with his Panzer Grenadiers. That's just silly. But troops reinforcing around here. Looks like another sniper on the way, and there we go. Panther Battle Group prepared. The second Panzer Division had to give away its own Panther Battalion to the British sector, probably the 21st Panzer Division to support it. On the other hand, it received its uh, another Panther Battalion from the 116th Panzer Division. That always felt a bit silly. But light anti tank have to bring up Panzer Gun Leader supporting it. So a bit more of an assault gun configuration for this one this time around. Advancing forwards for the fast land. Angriff, Angriff! Schnell! And setting off the mine, killing a panzer grenade and damaging the engine. Oh, Hellcat! Another Hellcat out! But nothing actually happening. Panzer grenade is sniped. Another sniper out. Come on, get more Hellcats, stay tank! Get more Hellcats and perhaps a Sherman. The Hellcat does not seem to be reacting to what's going on. Engineers taking heavy losses. Assault rifles close to getting cut down. And there we go, the Hellcat is on. And the engineers go down on the retreat. The flamethrower tank burst. Panzer gonna hit down. Hellcat moving out. Oh dear, misses. Strafing run, but the anti tank half track destroys the engine off the Hellcat. There we go, the Hellcat immobilized. In the nick of time, and the Kettenkrad has left him left behind by Blondie, losing it. And just as that happens, Panthers arrive on the battlefield, and the Hellcat is in dire straits. And there we go, the Hellcat is a wreck. Oh no! Why, why did you even have the sniper there, Dave Tank? 
That was just silly. And a bit of waste. And also note, Dave Tank has actually gone airborne. And he's very much lacking in the anti-tank department again. Usually you should always inspect Panther, so his lack of anti-tank assets is definitely going to hurt him. Mildly put, very much going to hurt him. But it's actually time for the mid-game analysis. Current situation, I mean, Dave is holding most of the map. What he's a bit lacking in is, of course, is the whole shooting up enemy tanks department. He needs to rectify that very, very quickly, or the Panthers are going to do some nasty stuff. Yes, they're not the best against infantry, but when there's nothing to really stop them, they can do all right, in particular, if we get some veterans on them. In particular, with the MGs, they can actually really do some nasty things to your men. So that's definitely something that needs to be considered. And as for Blondie, he will need to push forward. He needs to use his panzers properly. And of course lay down some booby traps using his panzer gun it is, instead of just relying on the Cadencrad. I mean, really. So of course there's that to consider. But let's return to the fight. So returning to Mr. Dave Tank, who's again in a bit of trouble. He's got plenty of units, but again, he's slacking in this sort of thing. <laughs> they can deal with two Panthers. Panthers on the move. Points being taken. Wrecking a bit of wreckage. That's good. Well, not really, but supply upgrade on the way for Mr. Dave. Tank to sort of try and boost up his manpower, and he's being a bit ha heavily hard by the hit. Bah! Hit heavily by the supply. Up keep and we're seeing one panther being dealt there, one panther holding up here with a few panzer grenadiers. Another squad moving up to support that panther. Lovely. Sticky bombs on the way for Dave Tank. Rifle squad on the retreat. Fraps acting up a bit. And pushing up the center. With airborne, a bit of a blob again. The aim strong strategy sort of involves that, but it's might also involve not charging straight into a lot of nasty things. We do see him coming under heavy fire from all sides. Moving in from flanks, taking losses in the process. And we have quickly seen the other Panther being switched back to the center. Shots being blasted away. Composition B is in. Troops can now sticky bombs. Losing ground out game. Troops being shot at. Oh, very clever as well. Blondie having actually snuck a unit in behind to go for the fuel point again. And Dave Tang, of course, is currently occupied in the front line with most of his army. So he can't really deal it. Oh, we do see a sniper being sent in to try and deal with the Panther gun. It's a bit risky, though. Panther's getting hit by the recorded rifles from a few several sides. Panther's blasting away. Note offensive veterans to help the Panther against infantry by actually making it more likely to hit the unit. Very clever there by Blondie. Again, a lot of players do prefer defensive because, again, it makes them tougher. But, you know, there's nothing wrong in just making more likely to kill the enemy before he even has the chance to hit. I get off that many shots. Another airborne infantry squad popping in. We're probably going to see some more recoilless rifles, which, of course... Oh, he's using, actually, scorched earth. Well, more specifically, he's scorching the points. Very clever there by Blondie. He's really making it difficult for Dave. Very difficult. Lovely to see Panthers moving up on the right-hand side, though they will need repairs. He does have the Kafka company, so he could consider expert repairs to sort of sort that out. Losing ground out there. And airborne. with more airborne, he should airborne. be able to do some damage. There we go, second airborne squad pops down. Recall his rifles. Flaps. Troops moving about. And booby driving actually going on from the Panzer gun. It is about time. And scorching points and booby trapping as well. By the looks of it, of course, that's sort of a dual strand. You can pull off. So when, oh, yes, we've finally repaired that point, And then let's take it. And then all of a sudden, something explodes directly in their face. 
A sort of nice double combination. It's definitely putting on the pressure for Dave Tank on several flanks. Of course, now he's forced to sort of try and piece them together. And there we go, second airborne squad ready. He's not even fully reinforced. And there we go, lots of recalls now, just hammering away at the Panther. Almost knocking out, and there we go, another offensive energy for the second Panther, just blasting away, launching high close round after high close round into the Panthers. And there we go, Panther is charging in, trying to actually overcome this sort, but simply not enough. Only one Panther really left to hold the line. The other one has been fought back already. The recoilless rifles actually turning out to be reasonably effective. <laughs> but the whole splitting up does less good for D. There we go, another shot connects the armoured car. In fact, he's getting more armoured cars. It looks like Blondie all of a sudden. Troops are being pushed back. Airborne definitely taking a thrashing. Of course, we also see access to an anti-tank gun prepared. Panzer guns are swiftly being recalled from the front line to take to quickly get those Panther battle ready again. The Panzer comes back in fünf. Engineers here coming under heavy fire. The armored cars blasting in, causing quite a few losses. Oh, well, actually, they're missing quite a bit due to again the craters being created by the Panthers and such. And there we go, Panzer can be escort very much on the retreat. Armor cars continue, there we go, blasting away, actually getting a kill. Rock recall is rather very close to hitting. Panthers getting repaired, armored cars now getting repaired. Airborne squad moving out. And if Dave Tank could actually, if he had enough resources and the command points for bombing on right here, he could absolutely devastate Blondie. But we su do see the assault going. We are seeing one armor car already battle ready. We are seeing airborne moving up. Rifemen. Hits connecting. What shall happen here? What shall happen here? We are seeing a straving run actually getting called in. Killing and pinning quite a few. Armor car barely makes it out of there. The Panthers, of course, are still heavily damaged. The infantry are pulling back. Looks like the strafing run was actually pulled off without the flak feelings having a chance of knocking it out of the sky. Engineers sneaking about and again points disabled. Fuel point disabled again just as they'd finished taking it. Blondie absolutely a vicious bastard on that part. And there we go, an anti tank gun dropped in the 57mm. Armored car swiping repair. Now we're actually seeing the Panther getting repairs, and looks like he might actually have expert repairs. And again, he might not, considering all the Panzer candies he does have working on. In fact, that's five squads. And again, a strafing run then would be absolutely vicious. And there goes Sturmgewehr leading the charge. So. Dave has actually managed to force back Blondie. That's quite nice. Slight problem is he's not really been able to cause Blondie any c severe casualties, which means Blondie is getting quite the punch sort of leveled to hammer into Dave Tank. And Dave Tank does, for example, have enough to stop the infantry. For example, could do with some browning automatics to make it much more difficult for the Panzer Grenadiers to push forward. And, you know, he might also want to keep the sniper close to the rest of the bunch. That there, for example, is one of the problem that Blondie could, in fact, take advantage of. Paratroopers on point. Points being taken, boob traps are going off, left and right. And again, repairing that fuel point right next to his base must be a sure point of frustration for Dave Tank. Panthers moving out. Crushing Bocage. Although it rather did require a bit more to just sort of move through it. In fact, for the Americans, they rather had to have some sort of special cutters mounted on the Shermans. And I'm pretty sure Panther might even have had some trouble just blasting through it. Eight 
Pam has actually been, and her tank has actually been pulled back. In fact, Dave tank has pulled everything quite far back, but it looks like he might have been predicting right. As we do see a straight push for the jugular by Blondie, sending though the Panthers in alone. Alone. Alas, a line. And there we go. We're seeing Panther moving in, just getting absolutely hammered by recall his rifle shots and I hope he's using armor piercing rounds I absolutely hope he's using armor piercing rounds a lot of players you know do forget them a bit and armor piercing rounds really add a lot and pinning down the troops right here that was a bit of a waste in fact of a good strafing run Who's oh and the panther scar away again I go out they got the impression he might not have used armor piercing rounds and again they really boost your anti-tank guns capabilities against enemy armor you know, they do more damage. In fact, they'll do more damage than the King Tiger. They'll be, I think, even more accurate and more likely to penetrate. And we're now seeing a mortar half tank out for Blondie as well. And there we go. Recall his rivals actually seem to be doing some damage. Snipers adding in. Some way. Continuing the push forwards. And there we go. Just charging up. Far up. Straight into everything, that's a pretty risky gamble there. He might be trying to get one of the Panthers, but his airborne are just getting murdered. An airborne squad, in fact, goes down. Robin Dumu up, steal one air, recall his rifle, might be able to finish it off. The anti tank and up. Armored car goes down by the Panthers, still in the action, and we both have now Veteran C2 giving them machine guns on top. Panther down, Panther down. Panzer come back and kaput. Armored car also down, down to one Panther, Veteran 2, one Armored car, and also no offensive Veteran 2, which also affects the machine gun on top. Sticky bombs galore on the Armored car. And gone by at the same time the Hummel arrives. Heavy self-propelled Armored artillery. They're not heavily armored, mind you. And firing away, Rifle and taking quite a bit of blasting as well. And there we go, the 150mm rounds flying through there. And the armored car finally went down, heavy hits on the Rifemen. Several men are just going down in the blink of an eye. Sniper down, oh dear. And we could see another sniper go down the retreat. There we go, absolutely gutted. Quite vicious. Lee. I mean, that might just have denied Dave his chances of a victory. I mean, he really took a beating unlike no other. I mean, the anti tank and just killed nine. Uh, the Howard killed nine men outright. Mortar got four kill. Of course, the Panther here is definitely getting more and more lethal. And the anti tank gun is no longer in the hands of the Americans as well. The Hummel chassis was actually quite interesting. It was a combination of the Panzer III and Panzer IV, sort of creating a hybrid chassis. And it was used not just for the Hummel, but also the Nashorn, which was a tank destroyer, pretty much sort of same layout, but with a high velocity 88mm gun, the same as the Yak Panther, King Tiger, and the Elephant. So that's also something there to consider a bit. And there we go, we are seeing a Dave Tank pushing forward it's as heroically as he can possibly try and be. Getting blasted by the Panther, getting kills continually. And there we go, Ripen Squad moving up, coming directly under fire from the Panther. Might be trying to get within. No range, so the Panther cannot escape the sticky bomb. Getting mortared, though. He did never, didn't even get it off. Oh, Dave Tank. And there we go. How to butt Raj getting straight hit on the bunt. Almost wiping it out. Though there was thankfully no one in it. And again, Panther is charging forward. and sending grenades, denying the cover of the tank destroyer to the rifleman. And it is clear that the 3rd Infantry is in a bit of trouble against the 2nd Panzer Division. The 3rd Caliber has been crewed. Incendio Grenade. Fear to the heart of the enemy. 
And the house is a bit on fire. We are losing ground. Booby traps going off. And sector artillery going down to make it even harder to sort of get close to the Panther. So much artillery getting called down. To make it difficult for the Americans to advance. And they're going to continue straight into the sector covered by it. Oh, first sector to the round misses. But the Americans are the Americans are moving. There we go, retreat. But oh, very close. And the Hummel adds in a bit as well, getting a few more kills. Nasty stuff. Nasty stuff. Eighteen kills on the Panther. Speeding this up a bit before Fraps decides to mess up again. And also not a lot happening as such right at the moment. Going for the victory point, denying it to just keep showing he at least gets two points down every second or minute or half a sec every second second, I know. And until getting called in right there. The Hummel firing again already. The offensive veteran who must be helping out a bit there. All rounds hit and disabling there. Absolutely nasty stuff there by Blondie. Ooh, very close there to actually hitting something, I think, but not actually quite hitting it. And Sector Tilly on the advancing horde. And a bombing run called. We're seeing a Panzer IV out for Blondie all of a sudden. A Panzer IV. Panther though continues to rake in the kills. More trans also lays in. And that Panzer IV just sort of arrived out of nowhere. But the fighting continues. Dave Tank is not to be deterred. But he is getting absolutely shredded. The Panzer IV just finding way with the high explosive rounds up close. Sticky bombs unleashed. Ripen squad down. Recall his rifle spot, the armored skirts do provide protection. Even the 30 caliber is in vain trying to fire into it. And incendiary rounds going down on the airborne. Just utter carnage. Now we go, assault rifles sort out the survivors pretty much. And that is it for Dave Tank. He's got nothing left. And there we go. GG. Game over. A loss to the United States in the face of the second Panzer Division. And offensive veterans are free for the Panther. But for Day, I mean, you know, really sort of nice fight, but there were some problems. He sh I think he shouldn't have been focusing much on the airborne. Perhaps he should have gotten more. You know, he should have, not probably, but should have gotten more tank drivers out there. He should have been more aggressive with them early on. I think that rather gave Blondie more time than the than he was supposed to have right there to do some damage to sort of get in with the armored cars rather than you know trying to sort of get in and do some damage as for the airborne doctrine itself infantry might have been a better choice or perhaps armor in this sort of case i mean the airborne were a nice choice but again might have been better with resources diverted to other things you know munitions towards artillery strikes or something that could help the tank destroyers you know again manpower and such towards tank destroyers blondie on the other hand needed to get more down more some you know Booby traps with this panzer gun. It is increased squad size. It's nice. Oh, role he played you yeah, quite all right. No huge points of contention there. But I hope you enjoyed this match. I hope you learned something from it. If you did, why not subscribe? Tell your friends. You know what did you like in this match? And you know, feel free to share. If you didn't, send in a replay of your own. Provide some feedback in the comments. And you know, otherwise, feel free to follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Imperial Dane saying cheers.